Hello friends, welcome back to A Dog's Life in Liechtenstein. Since my last video, life has been all about getting used to having a puppy that has to check out every cupboard or drawer we open. Also, Arthur eats three times a day and it's important his portions are measured and healthy. Morning and lunch he has dried food with cottage cheese and in the evenings wet food. Yum! weekend there was still a lot of fog in the valley but you can't let it keep you at home so we ventured down to visit a flea market it was so cold and you can see the fog is freezing as a thick frost on the trees and roofs was too cold to feel happy but fortunately there was a stand selling secondhand dog accessories. The only coat that fitted Arthur was a silver space jacket. He hated it but at least the proceeds of all sales went to an animal shelter. the mountain to try and escape the fog and to seek out open spaces for Arthur to run. This is the lovely village called Steg. got to run as much as he liked. Such a happy face coming towards me. At that altitude there was already a little snow here and there and you can see the snow poles are already in place. That's good because the forecast was for snow, a lot of snow. And then later in the week it arrived. Arthur's wondering what on earth is that stuff out there? There were two big firsts for Arthur that day. First, snow. He didn't like it very much. Second, it was his first time at puppy school, but he really liked that, despite the snow and the cold. Something new for me is that I now find myself including dog supplies in with my shopping. Arthur really is part of the family now. Most afternoons, Arthur and I are discovering lovely areas to walk in and around Liechtenstein.
like going up the mountain, we also like to go down into the valley and walk along the river Rhine and then look back up to where we live on the mountain. like it was time to get our Christmas tree so that meant a visit to our local Lundi just across the border into Switzerland. Lundi is a wonderful farmer's shop and stocks everything you may need for the home, farm or garden. So many beautiful trees. Which one should we take? That's the one. Just needs to be wrapped up so we can squeeze it in the car and get it home. Back home I got out the decorations and made a start at decorating the tree but soon had to call my husband to help if I wanted to finish before dinner. Of course, Arthur was right in the middle of everything, trying to do his bit to help as well. Oops, that wasn't very helpful, Arthur. That's how we learned that just like when you have any baby in the house, you have to keep the decorations off the lower branches. snow we've seen fall since we've lived in Liechtenstein. What do you think Arthur? Are you brave enough to go out into that? Day, it just kept snowing and snowing and snowing. I found it wonderful. We thought let's introduce Arthur to some real snow, especially in a way he couldn't avoid walking on it. So up the mountain we drove again towards the village of Steg which looked very different to earlier in the week.
at first, you can see he isn't too sure about it all. I had at least solved the problem of the hated dog coat by not putting the elastic bands around his back legs, so I guess he felt less constrained and could move more easily. with the snow coming down all around us and changing the lines of a familiar landscape. Arthur became more and more relaxed and began to walk more freely and explore the different smells and textures around him. wish you a safe and healthy Merry Christmas or festive time for the coming days. Thank you for sharing this little portion of our dog's life in Liechtenstein. If you enjoyed it, please touch the like icon and leave me a comment. If you would like to see the story continue, then please consider subscribing. <music>